Ooh, what is up guys? And of course welcome to Well, I end you Wi-Fi battle. I haven't done them in forever. Actually it's been ten months since I did my last one and I'm gonna say that I really wanna try to make more of these and the reason I haven't is for obvious reasons. I've been very much in depth with the leaks and besides that the time hasn't just necessarily been there and I think I get the time back to pulling this off. So with that in mind, yeah. I'm going to be looking for Wi-Fi battles in general, and while it's a tough time finding them, I do want to encourage anyone who is watching this video, if you got an NU or PU team, or even RU, make sure to get back to me and, you know, we'll figure stuff out from there. Uh, so that said, um, I always try to not be, well, go in guns blazing and have a really viable team in general when I play Wi-Fi battles, or, you know, I'll have some safety nets, but as a whole, I try to be very unconventional because I want to showcase Pokemon that won't be viable, it shouldn't be, and we're going up against Hannah, who is a very, very good competitive player, probably one of the best I know, and she is using a team with Zatu, Comfy, um, Dragon, uh, Incineral, uh, Toy Tomorrow, which seems to be everywhere in NU nowadays, and Sceptile, which is fairly viable, actually, very speedy, and uh, yeah, I got nothing for this team, this is a very, very good team overall, um, my team is as follows, in a lowland form of um, Golem with a Scoff, uh, able to have speed base 95 Pokemon. Uh, so that's going to be, or no, 90 base, I mean. Um, so basically anything that could be potentially Scoff, Pissimian, and um, uh, Sork without speed is Pokemon no matter what. But it's supposed to just be for fun, I really want to use it, even though it's not necessarily viable. Uh, Comfy is a standard set with Hidden Power Fire, Giga Drain, uh, Drain, Ning Kiss, and Calm Mind. Uh, leftover Sand Slash with Self Rock's Rapid Spin. It's your usual jazz with Sand Slash. It's not that very good, but it do fill holes in the team. Uh, so for that reason, it's it's all right. But yeah, it's it's kind of shaky to an extent. Uh, then we have Camera Up, which is a C variant Rock Polish set with uh, Grass Gym C, Solar Beam, Fire Blast, Air Power, and uh, yeah, Rock Polish clearly. Uh, Assault is way lower because I do like that set quite a lot. It's not necessarily all that good, but you know, I like it. And then we had Garbodor, which is the new offensive sets that have been going around, which Paint Split uh, to get over the lines of Stomping Tantrum, Gunk Shot over Poison Jab and then Spikes. It's quite alright, though it doesn't get to showcase much this specific game, but I do want to encourage that this is a set that I absolutely will see moving more and more up as the meta in NU moves on. Garbodor is super underrated and very viable. So with that said, um, I'm going to lead off with uh, Alolan Golem. I think it makes a lot of sense for this matchup. The only Pokemon forcing it out in theory is Sceptile, which will outspeed it no matter what set of Sceptile that is. But besides that, I, I think that's a fine Pokemon to start off with. And I hope it will alleviate some surprises. And I'm saying that full aware that that could be backfiring fairly hard. But Alolan Golem isn't necessarily the best for this matchup anyway. Uh, but as you guys see... That's what we start off with, and I'm feeling comfortable, I'm feeling the power, as we see Sato comes in. That's really, okay. Um, Toga tomorrow is a potential safe switch in, but she does stay in, and we get Sato out of the way. Uh, I think she was hoping that I could have gone for Stealth Rock, potentially, or that she was probably going to U-turn to get in some momentum. As she brings in Roly Poly, which of course she now knows I'm clearly um, Scarf, so I can't do anything uh, against this. I'm predicting her to go for um, a U-turn, so I'm sending in my Rocky Helmet variant of um, Garbodor. Uh, she does stay in, she goes for Wish, which I thought was really surprising, though it's a fair move to have since Togedemaru's move pool. While not the most impressive, it still has things that works. U-turn, Iron Head, Sing Zap, work, makes sense. So Wish is definitely a good filler as Lego, of course, come in and, uh, well, I clearly can't do anything here, I really can't. Uh, Gunk Shot will do okay amount of damage, we don't get a poison here, and Wish, of course, makes sure that, well, nothing really happened here. And I really, really don't want to stay in a take a potential Earthquake, so I'm going to switch out, I'm going to go into my Owl and Sun Slash. And my team, in theory, isn't necessarily that very weak to rocks anyway, so I don't, how do you say it? I don't have preference to actually get the Silver Rocks out of the field, I'd rather just, just get my own rocks and then force her Confate to potentially D5 if that's the case. As um, 
Tiger comes in, the Incineroar. And here's where I realize I don't necessarily have a switch into Incineroar like ever. Uh, <laughs> and I guess to an extent here, my Alolan Golem can come in on it, but I really don't want to take my chances here as I'm actually going to switch into my Garboder. Uh, just to potentially take the knockoff or fire or flare blade that comes my way, but um, jokes on me. It's um, C Incineroar. It's not your average C move. No, it's that special C move. That I can't remember the name till it comes on the screen. And I gotta say, of course, it is that. Yeah, of course, the malicious moon moon salt. I said that. I, I was feeling it. I knew it. Uh, anyway, clearly. Clearly, this is something I've never prepped for, as that's gonna, of course, knock off Garb Order, I feel. I feel Forsaken is Forsaken, and, uh, well, after that, the Rocky Helmet will do... I guess some residual, I, I mean, it's it's clearly dead. It <laughs> as I bring back Calyx, and uh, my best player is going for Earthquake. Quite frankly, it's gonna knock out Incineroar, it's gonna do damage on the Dragon. The only fair switching would be Sceptile, which I don't deem that threatening. As Roly Poly comes in, uh, I'll be honest here and say I didn't want to knock this Pokemon out. Uh, I was kind of hoping that I could use this to rock polish up with my camera. So to the extent here, I feel this was the worst possible situation, given how this is going to turn out. So Lego comes in again. Uh, I'll be honest, freaking Dragon. This is just one of those mods that just makes my day. As uh, so I'm going to switch in my Alolan... Um, Septile was gonna say, but no, <laughs> Alolan Sand Slash. Um, not that I'm going to take this Urquid particularly well, but she will score a crit on me, which is the difference between a 2 hit KO and a 3 hit KO. And I decided here that instead of going for uh, Icing Slash, which I had instinctively I was gonna do, I felt, no, just go for Rapid Spin, just get the rocks out of the field, see if I can do something with that. Dragon turns out to be quite a hassle as. Um, uh, of course, Sandslash gets knocked out there, and here's where I start to think that, you know, I really, 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 really don't want to send in Comfy. While it is a Pokemon that does make a lot of sense, I still feel uh, it, it forces the game to be right to sale, so I, I thought, let's bring in Hank, the Waylord, um, which surprisingly is as big as I thought it should be, but I went for Avalanche here, and it was faster, so I was thinking, oh, really? She went for, I really can stress this enough, she went for... A dragon tail. I was thinking, dear God, why? <laughs> I really wanted the damage. Uh, so my golem comes in here, and I was thinking, right, I'll go for Stone Edge. I get the damage. See if I can knock it out from here. Mm, get the miss. You know, it is what it is. As Earthquake, of course, knocks me out. I was thinking, all right, Comfy is actually my only play now. I have nothing more to kind of provide with. I really, 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 really need to do what I would say the most boring thing I ever could do and that is hoping first of all that she doesn't have gunk shot but also um, going for Calm Mind here directly potentially with a feeling that she's going to switch out which she does and um, I am now a plus one comfy and that is necessarily enough to win this game uh, there really aren't that many switch into this Pokemon it usually never is and uh, I can just kind of started going nasty and I really mean nasty as draining kiss like I said there yeah that's gonna knock out the tiger that's just about it the only thing I can really like be scared of at this point is if her own comfy is the same set that I am because that potentially me we have a call mine situation where crit could be the very reason something goes down as the grand canaria is the way she goes for septile while a big threat is not going to be able to deal with this comfy as giga drain well, of course she does have speed as long as I don't attack, but I can easily here go for a Calm Mind again, knowing that this mostly is a um, special variant of the Sceptile. They usually are. And um, I can just go for a, um, well, Dreading Kiss here, get the recovery back on. And while I didn't expect to kill it, I definitely felt that, oh, I'm so close. Like, that's, that is just ridiculous. Uh, she's going to retaliate with a Drain and well, hmm. Does some damage, absolutely, but that's damage that I can take back. I did think it did a lot of damage, though, considered I went for a second call mine. There must have been a very, very strange roll going on there. Nonetheless, yeah, we get that step to out of the way. So, she, her mini Pokemon is Dragon and the Comfy, and at this point, yeah, it's in the bag. 
unfortunately I should say this in the back because there really aren't that many responses left if her own comfort is the same that I am I'm going to be behind a plus two plus two before I start attacking so it's going to be that kind of situation that nobody wants uh, but my guess is considerably that she just at this point kind of gave up and no I get that um, I feel I got a massive momentum with comfy and it just it worked from here uh, I really really went out of my way not to be able to use this set uh, and it was because it's so boring um, not that I necessarily wanted to win the game at that point but I had no responses left to that dragon I really didn't want my alone golem to fall uh, really wanted to showcase camera and whatnot I just didn't get there as um, while I'm wrapping up here I did decide to um, send in my camera just to wrap up uh, not to um, rub it in I really really didn't want to do that I just wanted to see the damage output I'll be honest here um, I just really was excited to see if this set works or not plus I wanted to see the damage in the draining case from a comfy without the boost and yeah it looks to do just about nothing um, <laughs> Bagheer Rain of course would do a lot more uh, so all things consider, um, my opponent, I should say, luckily don't have gear rain because I think had she had that, uh, that camera would have been able to potentially not knock this out because I go for Sea Solar Beam. In theory, Sea Solar Beam is not strong enough Fire Blast uh, with Stab in mind, but I really want to just see that Flower Volcano spewing out before we take down a Comfy. So we see a camera with Bloom Doom, I guess that's kind of cool. It looks ridiculous. It looks like some like a hippie hippie camel. <laughs> Probably gonna name it hippie camel for now. Anyway, we do knock that out. We win this game. What is that? Trio. I don't think it matters. Um, in theory, I definitely believe Hannah should have been able to win this game. I think the only reason I win is because I took her by surprise from surprise from the get go. And the other thing being that comfy got that opening it never should get and you know, losing Togo tomorrow meant there were really no real responses for Comfy uh, because Comfy will not be able to outspeed a Togo tomorrow uh, first of all and second of all I should definitely be stated as an R head potentially is very very close to taking it out no matter what happens so yeah I'll, I'll feel for my opponent here as Hannah really did a lot of things right just a long goal and found a way to disrupt her and I guess that worked in my favor and to, to that extent uh, so far as words, I want to say GG to Hannah, and also want to thank you everybody for watching. I definitely believe I should be able to do this more often. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do so. Hope things change in the future. So that's it. As I said, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.